qui de, de range and the sales doubled. So clearly, clearly, now customers are more aware of electric cars. Uh, it's becoming very much acceptable because the range enables you to do uh, whatever you, uh, you want. And now the, the, this market is accelerating. So all the manufacturers are going. We have been uh, starting, as you know, uh, electric cars for a long time. We are uh, by far leaders in Europe uh, and uh, we want to keep this leadership. Do you see, uh, you know, your, your dominance in, in certain markets in Europe, yeah, you've done really well over here, you've taken the lead. Can we see a replication of that in India at some point with some low cost solutions? I know China is a market where, uh, you know, through the Alliance, Nissan is working on stuff, you're also doing things. So can we see some low cost EV solutions in India in the near future? Well, that's, uh, that will have to be, uh, to be studied, obviously, I understand that uh, uh, Indian government expressed a willingness to go for uh, more electric cars and so on. So uh, as India is obviously a very important market, uh, we'll, we'll have to study. At the moment, as you uh, well mentioned, uh, we are uh, studying uh, a low-cost electric car for China. But, but again, uh, no, no project, no concrete project for uh, India, but that may come one day. But it's logical that if you're doing it for China, India is a logical extension of that research and development, isn't it? Well, it could be. Obviously, every market is uh, specific, so we'll need to uh, uh, study what are the conditions and so on. And also, uh, again, it's very important that the, uh, uh, there is this political willingness to go for uh, more electric cars in India. I think that's, that's a, a key point.